Assalamu alaikum. Dear viewers, welcome to Youth Hour. I'm Isa Kudbi, and with me today we have director, producer. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm good. Would yeah. you like to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is uh, Shual Ahmed, and the, I'm the writer, actor, director of Classified Speaks. And we have Izzy Shnodan. Izzy Shnodan. I am uh, one of the actors in Classified Freaks. Fantastic. Welcome to our show. Um, can I start with Izzy? Because she is the uh, only lady in the <laughs> show. <laughs> Ladies first. Izzy, how, how long have you been acting yourself? Um, I think it started uh, when I was about 12 and I went to secondary school. I'd always done, you know, showy bits uh, since I was little, um, but never really considered taking it any further. And then when I went to secondary school, uh, we, you know, could do the school plays, we had proper drama lessons. And I just fell in love with it. I met other people who enjoyed it. Um, so then I started joining other clubs and things where I could do more shows. And I just kept going. It was just it was one of the only things I didn't really get bored of. So I've just kept going with it. Yeah. Fantastic. Did you say you started when you were 12? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, just kind of doing yeah, school shows. And then I joined a youth theatre uh, near where I'm from. Um, and we had sort of our own theatre. I think it was about a 200-seater theatre, and we do annual shows, things like uh, Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials, you know, Shakespeare shows like Cymbeline. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've been t doing sh bits like that since I was quite little, yeah. Fantastic. Are you doing any show now or at the moment? Yeah, well, I just finished one about two weeks ago in Blackheath. Uh, it, was, it was called Table by Tanya Ronda, and it was sort of... It was, it, w it was about this table and how it's passed down through the generations, how attitudes uh, are changing and things. Um, so yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago. That went quite well. Um, and then I am uh, just started doing rehearsals for another show that's going to be an immersive piece in Enfield. It's going to be in a pub and it's, it's all about uh, what it's like to be young in London and the sort of things that young people are facing. Uh, and it's with, with a company called Talent Match, and they they really focus on uh, being inclusive, uh, you know, roles for all kinds of people. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a really special piece. I'm really excited for it. I bet you're good to meet a lot of famous people. I'm sure <laughs> in that field, uh, it's always a, a couple. Yeah, mainly mainly through theatre. If I've seen people do things, um, I'll go and uh, you know say congratulations afterwards. Uh, things like people like uh, James McAvoy, uh, Stephen Fry and things, you know, I've seen them do, do Shakespeare and things like that, so I go, go up and congratulate them after the shows and things, yeah. Fantastic. I was saying in the beginning, um, the director, the actor, the producer, you know, it's everything in, in, in that box, you know. <laughs> so all in one Fantastic. <laughs> so, so um, how did it come about to become a director or um, producer? When I was young, I used to draw like uh, comics and stuff so it started off like illustration I was always a fan of um, films um, and watched films and films were all my inspiration um, and it was only when I was at uh, college that I really got exposed to the media industry you know film editing filmmaking and music and all that and from that it really kicked off um, so I got a camera out and I started making short films um, and from there on you know I just sort of gained confidence so do, do you write your own stories? Are you the writing yourself, aren't you? So how? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I try and get um, sort of uh, feedback from actors, uh, people who are involved in the project. So I, pri I primarily write um, sort of the, the treatment, which is like a, a basic summary of the story. Um, and then from there on, I start writing the dialogue. But I always try and get feedback uh, from people that I'm working with, because I think it's important to get fresh eyes on the script. I might write it and, you know, next day it might not sound right or it might not come across the way I want it. So you know, it's fantastic to be with you guys, you know, I feel young again. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I get our yeah, viewers involved. Yeah, viewers, um, if you want to phone call, we are live. I'm going to show you the number of your screen. Phone call and share your ideas. And share your ideas. And share your ideas. And share your ideas. Inspirational youth. I mean, Tadej Kazgula Kortesen. He's a filmmaker. You know, it's unbelievable. I'm going to show you young children are up now, especially holiday now, but they don't have to do anything. They can volunteer and do something. So you can call in and share ideas. Um, Shuhal Bai, so what's the age, you know, which age did you start thinking about making 
or moving in that line of making a movie? Um, probably about... You did, you did make a few, isn't it? You did make a yeah, few. Yeah, I did make a few, it. yeah. Um, I'd say probably when I was 16 or 17. This was when I was in college. Um, and then I invested in buying a camera. It was, it was a really uh, a low consumer camera. Um, and then uh, with a friend of mine, we just went out and started making uh, short films. And, you know, it's possible to make short films within your own bedroom, in your own house, little movies. Uh, and I saw it come together with my own eyes, you know, I sort of, that's when I was like, wow, you know, this is me making it, you know, and seeing the story come together. So uh, that was exciting and it was really productive. Um, and I really pushed on from there. Fantastic. How many movies or how many small shorts uh, um, series did you make? Um, when I was at university, I made a couple of short films. Um, that was within the project that I, that I was doing for the university. Uh, Can you name them? Um, one was called Magic Book. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That was like a, a, a visual effects exercise. I remember that. Um, there was another one which I did outside of university. It was a sort of like a gangster crime film called The Last Job. Uh, that was that was our first proper short film, and we released that. You know Facebook. what? I, I watched it today. Actually, I went to his Facebook, yeah. and I wanted to see what's going on down there, man. And then that's one. Oh of them. yeah, it's kind of funny. It's like that was done like 2008 or something like that. So it was a long time ago. It's weird looking back on it. And after that, we did um, we did Rebellion, which was a, a superhero short film, and it sort of got a little bit of a connection with what I'm doing right now. And then after that, we did After Sight, which was my first foray into professional filmmaking. How did your friend take it in the beginning? I'm sure um, <laughs> there's, there's two sides to it, of course. There people like uh, gangsters. Okay, fine. You yeah. into it. Then you go into a, uh, you know, classified... Um, classified freaks, yeah. <laughs> freaks. What does it mean? Honestly, I, I'm still... Um, so what is, this, what is classified yeah, freaks? Yeah, classified freaks means. Yeah, classified freaks, um, it's a British superhero comedy show. It's a drama. And the title in itself, uh, it's alluding to these people who have extraordinary abilities um, that sort of make them sort of um, stand out, um, you know, and the reason why they're classified is because, you know, because they're so different, you know, people might see them as a threat. Um, and there is an organization that specifically hunts down individuals that sort of possess these supernatural powers and they deem them classified and dangerous. And freaks, you know, people feel what they don't understand and, and when they see something that's so sort of weird and, you know, provoking and sort of dangerous, they will just reference it as something of, as a freak of nature. So I put those two words together and became the title Classified Freaks. Um, there was nothing quite like it out there for the title, so I thought... I don't know, I, I'm really interested in <laughs> how did it convince Izzy to come to your uh, project? Ah, uh, Izzy, she's already established actress, actually. Yes, she's yeah. doing plays yeah, she and everything. She's got an incredible Izzy, CV. Go on, let Izzy say it then. <laughs> then she will pull you. <laughs> well, um, I think what, what convinced me mainly, I, th I think it was two things. One um, was the script. Obviously, I was sent a two-page um, audition piece. And I, I was really intrigued by it. It was, it, they were interesting characters. Um, there was a lot of subtext there, uh, things that you could really sink your teeth into. And I was really intrigued. I really wanted to know more about the characters, more about what they were looking into. Um, and then the second thing that convinced me, I think, was um, Shul's passion for it. Uh, he was just really passionate, yeah, passionate about it. Um, and I, I think it's just really nice to work with someone like that. If it's a really great story, um, yeah, it's just a great opportunity, yeah. So, uh, Asalaamu Alaikum, is anyone in the line? Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, Kola, Asalaamu Alaikum. Uh, Walaikum Asalaam. Baya, how are you? Thank you for your call. Who's that speaking? Um, it's Ibrahim Rahman. I was on your show last week. Oh, fantastic, Ibrahim Bhai. Nice to have you, mashallah. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I'd uh, tune in uh, because I'm um, one of the guests on your show I know quite well, having Thank interviewed you, yeah. him on uh, one of my shows um, earlier this year. So uh, I just wanted to s just give him my support, really, and just say how I'm really looking forward to uh, to watching uh, Classified Freaks, and uh, I think it's going to be really exciting. So uh, really looking forward to it. Fantastic. Do, do you have anything to say to Izzy? Because she is amazing, <laughs> man. <laughs> Yeah, no, Izzy, um, great, great work what you're doing as well. I, I, I just did in a few moments ago, actually, so I was listening to the work that you've done as well. I think it sounds really good, and you certainly come across as being a very well-spoken person as well, which is fantastic. Thank you very so, much. So, uh, yeah, brilliant, brilliant stuff what you're doing as well. Keep up the good work, and uh, just 
going forward. It's brilliant. Thank, thank you, thank you Brother much. Ibrahim, for your, you know, um, calling us and giving us the inspiration. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ibrahim. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, fantastic. So you got another um, I know followers. Ibrahim, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> um, you know, he's uh, another talented individual. Um, and I came on his show uh, quite a while ago, and, um, and he was very enthusiastic. He's very excited to, to sort of mm -hmm. see the fruition of what we're working on. So um, I'm excited to deliver it. So, you know, I'm working away. So, you know, all good things, uh, you know, come to those you know, who wait patiently. Mm -hmm. So we'll go back to Izzy again. Izzy, um, when he was reading stuff, what was in your mind playing? Because um, he's a young man mm. and he's not established yet. Mm. And you come in to do a show with him, he's going to be a director, he's a writer mm. and everything else. Mm. And he doesn't have a big budget as well. Mm. Yeah. So what was going through your mind? Funny side of it, I'd love to know. <laughs> well, I think it was... Um yeah, it was, it was just that he clearly has a lot of natural talent. So, yeah, not quite established wow. yet, but it's a lot of talent there. And I think, yeah, just so, as actors, that y you want to tell a story. So when a really interesting story comes along, you can't help but just get involved. Um, so, yeah, I was just kind of thinking about that and thinking that actually it could go really far and it, c it could be something that... Um, that's that you know turns into something a lot more so obviously it's um unpaid at the moment but because mm. it's such an interesting story i was immediately hooked by it there's no knowing where it might go or where it might end up mm. so what's your part or your role in in, in the um drama it's, so i play letitia jennings who's a journalist and she's she's very intelligent she knows that there's something up she knows that uh she yeah she she can see um, these different things happening. She's been hearing these stories, uh, but no, nobody else is quite believing her. So she's having to, to do this herself, go out and find these herself. Um, and then obviously because, you know, she stumbled on this, she then gets caught up with the classified freaks and it sort of goes on from there. I can't give too much <laughs> of the story away. Um, he won't say yeah. nothing now. <laughs> is, is, is it that's why it's called classified, because it's classified, classified. information. <laughs> yeah. mm. No, that's great, you know, like, um, the amazing words you use for him, actually. Like, yeah. he's just clear what he's doing yeah. and the quality you showed. I think that's, that's, that's amazing, actually. So yeah. that really convinced you. Um, there are a lot of other uh, actors and directors that are doing mm. little, little things <coughs> in, in, you know, different places. Yeah. I think it would be amazing if all, all of you come together and, yeah, and, yeah, and would plan be, yeah. something on it. It would be fantastic, especially for our, you know, youngsters in this country. We have plenty of youngsters in this country. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, they don't have identity. They don't know what to do. You know, mm -hmm. most of them, some of them are, you know, you know doing antisocial behavior, into drugs and they're selling mm. and all those yeah. illness. How do we get them out of this? It's one way is one of you, do what you do yeah, is no, fantastic. Absolutely. Um, my hope from this project is to really demonstrate that kids can go out and make films mm -hmm. with anything really, with their smartphone, mm -hmm. with you know a camcorder that might cost about 80 quid or whatever. And, um, and I'm actually keen on uh, sort of holding workshops with, mm -hmm. with, uh, with youngsters so I can sort of show them the art of filmmaking, editing, mm -hmm. sound editing, acting and all that. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, my hope is really to sh sort of showcase that, you know, just go out there and make films and have that confidence, you know, there's nothing to be afraid of, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's a really enjoyable experience. It's the creative arts, you know really express yourself you know, so. so after you do you, you're working full-time aren't you yourself yes I am, yeah. so after your full-time job where do you get the time to <laughs> write and direct do you sleep <laughs> yeah yeah that's a good question I try and sleep as much as I can <laughs> only get about six hours or so. mm -hmm. um, it's, it's tricky I mean you know it's a commitment you have to make for you for yourself um, but I always look at the end goal I have to ask myself why am I doing it and I'm doing it because obviously you know, I see potential in the project that I'm working on and I'm working with these great actors and actresses and really, you know, I want us to really get far, sort of see the end result because I really feel as though the project that we're working on, there's nothing quite like it out there within the UK specifically. Um, and that's something that I'm hoping that sort of can break new grounds. Um, so yeah, I work on it in the weekends and in the evenings. Um, Do you have any links with other projects like similar to yours or any directors? Um, or? I worked with Islam the Ram and he worked on uh, Corner Shop and... Um, Okay, we just got a caller in the line again. Right, okay. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, caller, Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, Asalaamu Alaikum. Hello, Can you hear me? If you could put your uh, TV volume down, you can hear me properly. I'll put TV 
about it, damn right. Can you hear me now, sir? Hey, it's me. Oh, oh, Mr. Ken, how are you? How are, how are you, Isaac? Are you watching the show? I, wa I watch the show from six o'clock. Oh, great. See, I have amazing people and, in my show. Uh, and I'm sorting my problems out. Oh, good, good. So, you want to say anything about the show? What do you think? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's a show for uh, youth, isn't it? Fantastic. Yes, sir. Very uh, interesting. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, I, I, I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do some recordings tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll call you back. <laughs> okay. I Thanks think. for your call. Cheers. Fantastic. Uh, it's, it's a friend of mine, actually. He's enjoying the show, <laughs> and that's, I'm glad he called. Um, I was just asking you, um, do you have any other projects similar to you and you were linked up? Yeah, no, I mentioned um, Corner Shop. Corner uh, Shop, okay. Corner Shop is a web series, a comedy web series by Isla Abdurrahman. And, uh, and I worked with him you know, briefly in the past and uh, it was really his show uh, that inspired me to really take on the web series Classified Freaks. Um, and he's someone that I hope to collaborate with in the future, inshallah. Um, and uh, yeah, he's someone that. If he's watching, would you like to say something to him? Yeah, if he's yeah, on, it, it, Isla Abdurrahman, if you're watching, uh, we spoke before, but um, but yeah, um, I, I hope to uh, collaborate with you uh, with this project, uh, with your project. Maybe have like a sort of cross parallel universe of our worlds colliding with your web series. So yeah, that that's something that. I'm no, that's at. great. You know, like you 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 looked at somebody and that person inspired you, yeah. and you're doing yeah. some similar thing. I mean, he also gets the pleasure of seeing somebody yeah, no, like he's, that. He's Muslim, he's Bangladeshi, he comes from the same community, he's younger than me, and, uh, and so it's, it's really inspirational to sort of see what he's doing and, and take a leaf out of his book. So, so I'm, I'm assuming for the, 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 mo the movies you guys are making, small ones, yeah. you don't have a big budget for it, do you? No. So how do you go about it? It's, it's tricky. Um, the project classified free is a no budget. So literally any money that we do put in, it's just a really small amount. So you really have to use the resource around you and I'm lucky because um, I studied animation, so in terms of the visual effects, that's pretty much something that I'm involved in, and I create myself, um, and all the editing and sound. But then you just sort of go, to, you just sort of, you go out there and you start networking with other people and friends, and you find people that are willing to work on a project unpaid because it's the potential that they see, and it's a way of opening a door for them. Um, and, and so you sort of help, it's like if one big family, you're helping one another for a common goal, you know, which is you know, to sort of be successful together. Oh, that's fantastic. And individually, so yeah. Well, tell me, uh, it's, it's the funny side of the, you know, being director. I don't know how yeah. it works, actually. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so how, how do you direct somebody? So imagine you're directing uh, yeah. Easy. Yeah. So, would you like to say? Uh, it's... Uh, is it, I'm sure it's difficult. No, it is, is it? difficult, yeah. Okay. I mean, especially if I'm acting in it and I'm writing it, but... Um, okay, bring us in in your head, so you, you're directing Easy. Go on. So I'll be like, you know, right, Easy, if you just stand there, I'm going to frame you there, just stand there. We're going to do about three, four takes. Uh, but I just want you to go through your lines. So we'll do like a raw take. Um, and so she'll go through her lines with the other actors and I'll be framing it. I'll be just like moving around, trying to find the right angle. And then I'll get them to sort of act out the scene and I'll be recording it. I'll be using that footage and I'll be like, okay, let's do this first take. And so I'll, we'll be recording and they'll be saying their lines and I'll say, okay, stand by, camera's rolling and action. And then, you know. So d how often would you like repeat and repeat and repeat again? Is it difficult? Like it is. I mean, you know, it's it's the art of you know practice. You know, and doing as many. T uh, the rule that I have is not to do too many takes. Less is more. Mm -hmm. um, but I do give the actors the freedom to sort of do as many takes as they want if they feel they're not happy with their performance. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll look at it too, and I'll give them feedback. Um, and yeah, you do it till you get it where you want it. You know, um, mm -hmm. but um, I've done, you know, it, it comes with time and practice, you know. So eventually, you know, you, know, you will you'll work with actors and they'll know how you work and I'll know how they work um, and we'll rehearse extensively in advance. Sometimes that cuts down uh, the time that we spend actually shooting. And if I know what I want and if I know the shots that I want, you know, we can work really fast. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, tell me the funniest moment you had in, in recording and, and, and directing when he was doing funniest moment you had. Well, we haven't shot. Uh, we haven't shot anything yet. yet. Okay. Yeah. But we've done yeah. a rehearsal together. We, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that yeah. was really fun. Yeah. Um, tell me the fun side of it. Uh, well, the I'm fun side was that uh, Shaw was playing the other character, I was, yeah. and it was it was nice to see Shaw act actually. Yeah. I like it when um, the director also you know has an acting background yeah. and things because. 
they have a really good understanding of what it's like because it can be um, not so much stressful but if you do have to take you know lots yeah. and lots of takes sometimes just the camera angles don't get right mm. and it's really nice to have a director that really understands uh, um, you know what it takes mm. and so yeah it's, 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 it's really a nice to kind of collaborate with someone like Shaw. Why if somebody <laughs> calls you today from um, people are watching there are directors are watching I'm sure and say I ask you to do a movie in Bangladesh <laughs> would you would you That'd think about it? <laughs> I would think about it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Guys, you, 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 you got a chance now. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. That would be right. one sense of adventure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah it's just I, as an actor. Definitely you want a diversifying. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I think that's the kind of actor I want to be. Is that I would like to be an actor that does all sorts of different things. I don't mm. kind of want to pigeonhole and just play one kind of character or. Yeah just do theatre or just do film. I'd, it's more interesting to be able to try lots of different things and obviously Absolutely. you'll enjoy more things, uh, you'll, you'll enjoy th some things more than others but it's more of an adventure if you give everything a go. Yeah. Yeah. That's great to know. Yeah. Um, you know when you, it's not always easy like convincing mm. our uh, home actually especially. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Um, they're not used to it. They're not, first no, thing. no. We don't have many filmmakers in this mm. country than they're used to it. So you will take time to convince them. So yeah. Yeah. what kind of difficulty did you face? Or how um, did you convince them to... I think in the beginning, to be honest, it doesn't only exist in our culture. I think it's a universal thing. Mm -hmm. I think parents tend to be generally pessimistic because they, they want their kids to do well, financially, academically, you know, socially, you know. And um, in the beginning, my parents, you know, you know, they were, you know, initially quite pessimistic. And they were like saying, we think you could do, spend your time doing something better. Um, you know, and naturally, you know, um, I did my studies, you know, to make them happy. Uh, but I always did it on the on the on, on, on the side, you know, as as a spare thing, you know, that if the day came, you know, that I could build some credibility, you know, that they would sort of look at it and think, right, you know, maybe you know there is sort of you know um, hope and sort of seriousness to this industry that maybe my son could sort of succeed in. And right now, you know, my mom's really supportive. Okay. Um, and. Um, She's quite excited I'm in this show. <laughs> That's great. How about your brother and sister? Are they? Yeah, no, they're really supportive. Um, you know, they, you know, Alhamdulillah, I'm, you know, I'm very grateful. You know, um, they, they've always been supportive, and I think it's just a matter of work, putting the hard work in, um, and and you know, just taking every opportunity that comes by. You know, you really do have to put the hard work in. Nothing comes your way. You know. I'm sure you know. Even the hard work made you a a a, a brilliant human being. Because you know what, a lot of people are into bad stuff. Yeah, they're yeah. selling bad things. that need to yeah. Yeah. behavior. You're not taking that route. You putting your time and give yeah. something back. Yeah. You know, this is. Yeah. They should be proud of you. Definitely, that's. Uh, they should be proud of you. You know, and you know, it's like a boxing thing. Not everyone becomes champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It takes time. You know, everybody box and s one person becomes champion. So you could yeah. be one of the. That could be you. You know, that you could be the one who's showing the others to follow. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's interesting you talk about the youth. I mean, I grew up into Hamlets, um, and I've seen kids, you know, getting into trouble and stuff like that. So I really hope that, you know, I'm demonstrating and hopefully showcasing, you know, when we release the web series that, you know, you can get out there, be active in filmmaking or whatever it is that they're interested in and really make, you know, a career out of it if they can, you know. Um, and there is always an alternative, you know, you know, there's always a door there, you know, and hopefully Izzy and myself, you know, hopefully can inspire, you know, young kids, you know, to sort of get out there and, and you know, pursue something in, in filmmaking or, you know, something else in another Okay, industry. so if, say, they're, they're not convinced, you want to make yeah. a movie, they're not convinced. Yeah. They're convinced with you now, they'll say, no, not this one, make something else, yeah. that one. Yeah. How would you convince them? You're a director, listen, yeah. you're, you're, a, you're an actor. <laughs> you know, how yeah. would you convince them? Would you be emotional? How would you convince them? Me, personally, the way I would convince people is I would sort of showcase um, inspirational films or TV shows or um, comics or whatever I'm interested in. I would showcase that um, a material that I'm drawing inspiration from. I would say this is sort of what I'm looking at, um, and then I'll try and sort of speak in a very passionate way. I think passion is important. Okay, just we've got a caller again. Okay. Hello, caller. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum salam. When bala sunni apne? Yeah, bala. Nara bala ni. Ji alhamdulillah. Apne kunja ka dekhor sunbun? Yeah, kana shuel de divani. Ji shuel apna mat funda ji studio apne ji matila ka apne. Okay. Hello, Hello. 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 Hello.
Eh ase kuri di eh aibo. Aibo ni. Jo aibo, aibo sese. Acha. Sundala gana bo mati tra. Okay ta. Tika assalamu alaikum. Thank you sase ji dua korba afna tra lagi. Oh mashallah. That was that was Hamid's mom. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So she was just checking. Uh, she was asking, "Where is Hamid?" Uh, said, he's, he's coming. He's, he's coming. He's not yeah. lost. He's, not he's lost. coming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, say uh, you're gonna convince me yeah. for a, a role. Yeah. For your dad, how would you convince me? Pretty much by, you know, giving a, a passionate statement. You know, I'll try and convince you uh, why you should be part of the project. Firstly, by explaining the story. What is the project that I'm trying to sort of get you involved? Okay, we'll go for another call again. Another call out. Assalamu alaikum caller. I think, I've, I think we lost the caller. Um, please do call back. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum caller. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Jibin kalasun ya. Jo please matu kafne jia asun shu. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam. Kau juga tak suyal ni? Jadi, anjing ni. Oh, kami turun mama ni mata Manchester tu ni, Oldham tu ni. Oh, mama ni ni. Assalamualaikum mama ni. Oh, dek kau turun mata suyal dia jual lagi, bala lagi. Bala lagi, alhamdulillah. Oh, bala. Apa ni bala ni? Kita turun bala ni. Jami bala si, apa ni bala ni? Oh, bala si. Tore dek kau amra ukhlu si ni lisi. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Kuih si apa ni dek rai? Oh, yo dek ram. Acha tezau bala riba. Al doa kuri Allah johor uka tu mare. Alhamdulillah. Afna bala thank you. Acha tezau. Terra ki de. Jibun thank you. Salam alaikum. Dakhul baf nara. I'm glad. See, mashallah. That's great. Uh, it makes the difference. So your whole family yeah. supporting you. That's that's the that's good, yeah. that's witness. That's <laughs> brilliant. You need family support. I'm Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so I was I'm just ask you know saying um, how would you convince, especially your at uh, home parents. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what? They're very sensitive. When it comes to parents, mm. they're sensitive. They don't want to see people are uh, um, taking Mickey or saying yeah, something bad or rude. Yeah. So they want to be. They were very protective. Yeah. So I you could see yeah. the side of it. How would you convince them? How would I convince them? Yeah. The parents? Yeah, go. Um, see, try. <laughs> it's interesting. I'd probably explain to them that, you know, um, firstly, my intentions are correct. That I want to do things in the halal way, alhamdulillah. And um, that I do want to make a career out of it and have a financial stable career out of it too. Um, and that there are benefits to it. Um, you know, I think that um, there's a lot of writing involved. So that's something that I'm sure they'll look at and they'll say, my son can improve in, in, upon his English. Um, at the same time, you'll work with a lot of public figures. Um, you'll be connected within the industry um, and it will open doors for uh, the youth, you know, within our own community. Uh, I think it's all about engagement. Um, and I'll try and say to them that, you know, have faith and confidence in me and that inshallah in the long run they'll see the fruits of you know of all the hard work that you know i'm trying to put into it you know and i think it takes patience and i would ask for their patience um mm -hmm. and slowly 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 like today for instance i'm on your show you know they'll see wow you know my son is on this show and you know there is a sort of a credibility to what he's doing you know and inshallah you know you sort of build on from that you know fantastic is it did you have to convince your parents to do acting i, I did yeah it's actually quite similar um so obviously i you know i went to them and told them i wanted to be an actor and i think where i do get bored of things quite easily they thought it would just be a passing phase um but then obviously i, I joined these theater companies and i did shows it took it took several years actually i think it was two or three years um, of me doing shows, applying for different things, going away and doing courses. Um, and then eventually they said, actually, you've stuck with this and you've, you've proven to us that it is something that you're passionate about. Um, obviously, they've been to see my shows were like, you're not absolutely terrible. So <laughs> with work, you could, you could um, you know, actually make a career out of it. I think, again, my parents were a bit, a bit concerned about financial aspects. Yeah. Uh, but I think I think just for them, yeah, it took me several years of applying for things, doing shows to prove to them that I was passionate about it and that I would stick with it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think if you're passionate about something, because it's not it's not yeah. instant, you know, you won't see yeah, an instant you have to success. Really have to work for it. I think sometimes parents are quite apprehensive, mm. you know, because initially they are going to be quite pessimistic and fearful mm. because they want the best for their son and daughter, like any yeah. parents, which is understandable. 
I think it's perseverance, you know, and you yeah. just got to have that little bit of faith. Yeah. And that goes a long way, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, and then hopefully, you know, they'll see that, you know, mm. there is success to it. You know, once yeah. they see their children putting hard work into it. And mm. I think parents should be supportive if they're doing something positive, mm. you know, rather than something negative. So what Izzy and, and, and me, what we're doing is positive. You know, it's productive. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, and that's something that parents should be supportive of. Fantastic. You know, we're going to go for a break in a minute. So I'm really convinced, you know, like you guys convince your parents. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the very positive way to do it as well. You're mm -hmm. showing the action and mm -hmm. they're seeing the success and they're happy with that, you know. So I'm going to go for a small break. Please, if you have young people in your house, bring them into the uh, living room and bring them into the living room. Get them to see this, you know, they are inspirational youth, we're saying, and they are, actually. That's why we see them in the middle of the day. That's why we see them in the middle of the day. It's amazing, it's fantastic. So, we see this attitude in our children, the next generation of the children, and we see them in the middle of the day, and we see them in the middle of the day. So, we'll just come back in a few minutes.